use a ruler and a protractor to draw a triangle FGH that satisfies the following conditions. The measure of angle F is 30 degrees, the measure of angle G is 70 degrees, and the length of FG is 8 centimeters. Well, with the given information, we know that two angle measurements are given to us and the length of one side. In order to use the protractor, we're going to need a segment. So let's start by drawing it. So that's our second step. Draw the 8 centimeter segment. So start at 0, label it with point F, and then extend it out to 8 and label that endpoint as point G. Step 3, with your protractor, place its center at point F, measure 30 degrees, and if we compare our numbers on the inside versus outside of our protractor coming from this direction, the inside has the smaller angles, so we would draw a line straight through at 30 degrees to make the 30 degree angle at point F, and then also with the protractor, place its center at point G, measure 70 degrees, that's the required measurement of that angle, and draw a line through that 70 degree angle. So if we examine the protractor, now the smaller numbers are on the outside, so when the outside got to 70, that's where we knew to draw our line to, draw our line to create angle G. And the fifth and final step is to draw point H where the two lines intersect and then erase any additional lines that may be around there. And then we have our triangle FGH that meets the conditions that the measure of angle F is 30 degrees, measure of angle G is 70 degrees, and the length of FG is 8 centimeters. Let's try this problem. Construct triangle JKL with the given conditions using a protractor and a ruler. We know that the measure of angle K is 105 degrees, the measure of angle L is 25 degrees, and we know that the length of segment KL will be 9 centimeters. So let's start by first getting out our ruler. And we can start at 0 and we have to draw a segment that is 9 centimeters. So from 0 all the way up to 9, that's where we're going to stop. And then let's put this off to the side because we're going to need it a little bit later. And then we can get our protractor out. And we're going to place our protractor at one of the endpoints. And first let's label our endpoints with K and L because that's what this is. I'll call this side K and this side L. And we know that its length is 9 centimeters. So now we can place the center of our protractor on point L and the, the segment KL is also lining up with the base of our protractor to make that straight line at zero. And we want angle L to be 25 degrees. So angle L is 25, so we have 10, 20, and five would be right in the middle. So it's gonna go through this point right there so let's move this out of the way. We can make this point a little bit bigger to make it easier to draw our segment. And then let's line this up with L. And now we can rotate this so that it goes through. It's through L and this point right here. Okay, so now we got it lined up. And we can connect our two dots that we have there. And let's actually keep going because we might need it a little bit longer. Okay, and now we also need for angle K is 105 degrees. So let's set this up so that those match up. But then 105, if I start here, this is zero. So I'm going to go up to 105 is right up here. So we need to use the outside this time. So 105 is going to cross right here, go through that point. So let's put the point there, move the protractor away. 
Again, we can make it a little bit bigger and then bring our ruler back to where we want it. And we can rotate it until we get to where we want it. Okay, now it lines up. So now we have our 105 degree angle at K. And then we're going to connect and go through that point. So then our final point in our triangle is going to be up here as point J. And again, we know that L is angle L measures 25 degrees, and we know that the measure of angle K is 105 degrees. And then if we erase these extra two, we will have our triangle. And here's what triangle JKL will look like with the measure of angle L being 25 degrees, measure of angle K being 105, and the length of KL being 9 centimeters, and they intersect at point J. If you would like an extra video on how to construct triangles within the given conditions um, in an interactive geometry software program, click on the link below in the bottom right-hand corner.